Hey folks, I'm Lucy with Ballyhoo Creations and this is just one of my vlogs, uh, video logs on my business and what's going on with me. Nothing like no tutorials in this one or anything like that. I'm just gonna talk about kind of where I'm at. But I do have something exciting that's coming next year, not for me, but for anybody with a crafty business. It's called h, h Americas. It is a trade show, an international trade show for the soft crafts. What are soft crafts? That would be anything that deals with fabric, thread, yarn, fiber, any of those things would be a soft craft. So sewing, embroidery, knitting, crochet, needlework, uh, weaving, spinning. If it deals with fiber, that would be one of the soft crafts that would be under this international trade show. H&H has been doing the H&H Cologne craft trade show in Germany for years, and it is one of the world's biggest trade shows in the craft industry. The other really big one is the Creativation, which has been in Arizona for the past several years. I went to that one, to Creativation, in January of 2019, and I'll show you just some scenes of like me walking around this trade show, and um, all of the vendors had all of their products, and it, there was just so much to see. It was amazing. Not to mention, at these trade shows, not only is there all of these vendors showing their wares, but there's also networking. You meet amazing people there and there's workshops, so you can learn a lot of stuff too. That is happening in Chicago, June 22nd, I'll put it up here, June 22nd through 24th of 2022 in the Chicago area. Actually, it's in Rosemont, Illinois, which is right outside Chicago. You fly into Chicago, the, the Donald Stevenson Convention Center is like, I don't know, a mile or something. You just get a shuttle bus and run over there. So. I am planning on going. It would be great if other people would go too. Uh, leave a comment if you think you might go and we'll, we'll try to have a meetup or something. That would be awesome. So I'm excited about the trade show. And the reason I'm so excited is I am on some committees. There are volunteer positions. I'm not getting paid to be on the committees and I'm not getting paid to say anything like this, but I do love trade shows for any industry. I'm one of those trade show junkies. I love getting that baggie of stuff that you take home. So I'm very excited. Um, and I'm on the social committee and the workshop committee. And it's just been really fun watching to see how this all comes together. There's gonna be great stuff there. I'm looking forward to it. So go look it up, go to their website and uh, see if it might be something that you and your business would be interested in, whether you are a crafter selling on Etsy all the way up to maybe you're a big social media influencer in the craft industry doing a soft craft. Um, if you're a designer, anything like that, look into this trade show. It's gonna be really big. So that's the trade show. And in my own studio here, I, I had a pattern release this past week. This is the new doll, Jessie, and this is the new doll, Chris. And these are the big versions of them made in the eight by 12 hoop on the embroidery machine. And of course, this is Chris Kringle and Jessica Kringle. If you're familiar with the Rankin and Bass, Santa Claus is coming to town, stop motion. Mrs. Claus's name was Jessica, so that's why I named her Jessie. And uh, the actual, this is the extra coat. It's this coat and hat don't come with the doll, but this is kind of, here's, you know, not Santa Clausy looking, but the um, Mrs. Claus or Jessie has the apron and she can stand on her own. And then, you know, I, these are just elastic suspenders. That's not actually part of the pattern, but you could do that. It's really fun. Um, and I have like, here's another version. So he, he can look pretty generic or you can make him look a lot more Santa Clausy. It just kind of depends. When he puts on the coat and hat, this is more of the Papa Noel look. And so, yeah, those patterns came out this week and I'm trying something new. These are priced at, um, let's see, $5 for this pattern, which includes the body and the head, and then $5 for this embroidery machine pattern, which is the body and the head here, which the glasses are part of it, the hair is applique on. Um, so $5 for either one. And then I may do a package where you get both of these guys and the coat and hat. I, I don't know, I'm not there yet, but, uh, I'm trying that new pricing just to see how it goes because typically a doll pattern, whether it's a machine embroidery pattern or a sewing pattern, would be anywhere from eight to $15. Sometimes you'll see them as high as 20 if they're more complicated. And I'm gonna try a little bit of a lower pricing model just because, and, and so this is the other part that I wanted to include in this vlog update. I'm changing the focus of my business a little bit. Instead of dealing just with designs that I sell, um, 
This, and I've been doing that for a year now, maybe about 13 months, and I'm finding that some of my income stream is not from selling the designs. That's not the biggest chunk of getting money in, making income, and I'm not making a living at this yet. I'm only one year into this business. I'm fine that I'm not, you know, paying the bills with it yet, but I'm seeing the potential, so that's good. But I'm finding that the content creation, creating YouTube videos, creating Skillshare classes, I also have classes up on Creative Fabrica. I'm, I'm seeing, for me personally, I'm getting income from those revenue streams more than selling the designs. And I'm thinking that in 2022, I'm gonna focus a little bit more on content creation, making videos and a little less on the designs. I'll still have, my designs will still all be for sale and I'm gonna kind of clean that up and make it easier to understand the website. And then I'll still have new stuff coming out occasionally. But also, I mean, when I teach a class, for example, the Skillshare or the Creative Fabrica classes, there's a free pattern included with that. So you get all the files for free when you take that class. So I'll still be designing, but sometimes the design will be just something that you get free when you take the class. So it's just kind of a different business model for my business that I'm gonna try out and I'm gonna see what happens there. It, it may not go so well. Maybe I would rather go back and focus on the designs later, but uh, there's always time to go and, and look at that later. So I'm curious, two things that I'm wondering from you guys. If you have a crafty business or even if you're just a crafter, what do you think? Um, does it make sense that patterns would be cheaper considering that's not where I'm, I'm try not trying to make money off of the patterns as much as the, the videos and stuff like that. So why should I be making a ton of money off of the patterns just because people will pay it when I'd rather lower the price and have more people get into doll making. That's kind of my whole goal is I want more people to get into this craft or to get into machine embroidery. That's why I make these machine embroidery videos because this is an amazing, well, this is an amazing machine. I love this machine, but just running the embroidery machine is a really fun thing to do. And the more people who get into it, I, I feel like more people are, are having fun with it. So I'm just trying to spread that joy, you know? But uh, if, yeah, let me leave comments below of uh, what you think about if I lower the price on designs, whether you're a customer or not really doesn't matter. Does it make sense that a designer would lower the price because a lot of the revenue is coming from content and not selling the design? You know, I'm just, you know, playing around with uh, business numbers, I guess. I'm not a financial person at all. So leave me a comment, tell me, tell me, give me some feedback on that. I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you think you are interested in the h, h America's trade show in Chicago next June, leave a comment about that below and we can talk about that too. That'll be fun. So that's all I got for this week. Have a great week. Happy stitching. See you later, folks.